this is Annabelle. Today we will be continuing our science quiz with our fourth video, which is about forces. So first of all, what are forces? They are a push or a pull upon an object that causes the object to move or stop or even change direction. Some examples could be gravity and air resistance in this picture. Gravity is the force that pushes the object towards the center of the earth. While air resistance is the force that is going against gravity. That means it is the force that pulls us up. So what are the different types of forces? So there are three different types. There are balanced forces, unbalanced forces, and net forces. So balanced forces, it is two opposing forces in equal size that is going against each other. The object will either move at a constant speed or not move, which means it will be stationary, like stuck over at the spot. So balance forces will not create any acceleration. So here are some examples of balance forces. Balance forces, it could be the gravity, as what I explained earlier. If this is object is not moving. It is not either going right, left, not moving, just staying there. Why? Because it is stationary, which means that two of the forces are going against each other at the same force. Which means, for example, this is zero newtons and it's measured by newtons, so it's like this is zero newtons and this is zero newtons, which it will end up stationary. They can't push each other, it cannot move here. And as for the next example, I'll be using a car. So if it's a balance force, it will move at a constant speed like this. And if it's an unbalanced force, it will either increase the speed, which means it will accelerate or it will decelerate. So now I'm going to be giving you an example on unbalanced forces. Unbalanced forces, it could be something moving faster or slower. For the example over here. This is accelerating. When you're moving in a constant speed, the graph will show that it's moving slowly and if it's decelerating, it will show something like this. From fast to slow. So next we have is the net force. It is the total, the average force which is measured in newtons, also known as N. Some examples could be two forces going against each other. So have a look at the photo that I placed inside the slides. As you can see, 5 newtons versus 10 newtons, you will get 5. I mean negative 5. But over here, it's 5. Why? It's because over here when it goes negative 10, this is larger than 5 newtons. As you can see, this it's going to the left side. Therefore, it will go to the left side by 5 newtons. So now let's go on with the task. Our first task is to identify the different types of forces. I will only give you one minute to complete it. You will have to to use a timer 
to time yourself for one minute while pausing this video. The second task is to calculate the net force in these newtons. Try your best to finish these questions within one minute. You will have to pause this video and then play out your timer. Okay, so now let's discuss the answers for task one. The answer for task one for balance forces is a parachute because there is gravity and air resistance. And lastly, unbalanced forces is a game of tug of war as they are unequal or they may be in unequal forces together going against each other. Now for the answers of task 2, for the first answer, the answer would be 3 newtons to the right. So why to the right and why 3 newtons? As you can see, this is 7 newtons. For the parachute, it's going 7 newtons back which means to the left while the driving force is 10 newtons to the right so 10 newtons is longer and which means it's much more larger than some newtons so 7 minus 10 you will get negative 3 newtons so why is it now 3 newtons not negative 3 newtons it's because of the direction the direction is going towards the right side Therefore, we have to move it to the right side, 3 newtons. And as for the second question, we have 500 newtons versus 450 newtons, which will give us 50 newtons to the left. Because 500 newtons minus 450 is 50 newtons. And since 50 new 500 newtons is much more powerful than 450 newtons towards the left, then the, therefore the answer would be 50 newtons to the left. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed and learned something new. Thank you.